Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be teaching you all about PR lists, how to work with brands, and how to make money off of social media as a micro-influencer. A lot of people make this topic sound very complex, very complicated and unattainable, and it's not. I'm gonna keep it super real, super honest, and right to the point of exactly what you need to do and what exactly I have done to be successful on social media as a micro-influencer. There's no big secret, there's no secret potion, there's none of that. It is not as complicated as you think it is. If I could do it, you could do it. I literally wrote out like five pages worth of things that I need to cover and tell you guys. So yeah, get a notebook, get a pen, you're gonna wanna write this down. So what I'm going to be talking about is my personal experience as a micro-influencer and how I've been able to grow my account, work with brands, receive PR, and make money. You're going to want to wait till the end. That's where we're going to be talking about how you, yes you, can make money with less than like 10,000 followers. So starting off with my story, I started my Instagram account, I would say about four years ago. I wasn't posting a lot, maybe two, three times a week, if that, once a week maybe. And I don't know, I was just feeling super, super discouraged. I understand the feeling. I know what you're going through if you're in this little phase of your social media accounts. I was feeling really discouraged. I wasn't getting recognized by brands. People weren't following me. And honestly, I just felt like giving up. So honestly, I did put it aside for a little while. Even my, all my friends, and you know who you are, Tanessa, my, one of my best friends, she kept pushing me to just post. She was like, just do it. You love makeup. It's what you love. Don't look at numbers. Just do it. And I did. So mainly over quarantine time. So when was that? About literally exactly a year ago. I started dedicating more time to my socials and just having fun with makeup, posting a look every single day because I was bored and I had a lot of time on my hands. And that's kind of where it started to pick up. Just like she had said, I kind of just forgot about numbers. I stopped caring about how many followers I was getting. I stopped caring about brands liking my photos or brands reposting me. I simply tuned in to the fact that I love makeup. I'm a certified makeup artist. I have so much time on my hands. I'm bored out of my mind. I'm just gonna do what I love and share my looks and what I come up with just for fun. So keep that in mind. It started off just for fun expanding on that you need to make sure this is something that you love because it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and it's easy to get discouraged when it's not something that you truly truly love because it takes time and you need to be patient as i started posting more and more consistently i started to discover my style a little bit more my posting style my aesthetic and all that stuff and that's when brands really started noticing me and started liking my photos commenting on my photos and yeah it kind of just went from there I wrote this down in all capitals, so I'm gonna say it. I started treating my makeup account as a job. I really looked at it as a job and I put so much priority on it. I dedicated so much time to it. So that's something I suggest that you do if you're really passionate and serious about this becoming something greater. You really need to look at it as a job. You really need to dedicate your time to it, put effort into it, just like you would your job. Now when I started notice brands noticing me commenting on my posts, I started getting reposted here and there. I really started to invest in myself. I started researching what kind of lighting was good, what kind of lighting did other beauty gurus use, or I, the person I searched up was Carly Bible. She's like my inspiration. I love her, I've always looked up to her from day one before I started makeup, I loved her. And she suggested this young, new, I'm looking at it right now, oh my God, don't look straight into the light. <laughs> I'm like blind now. But anyways, it's called the Young Nuo I don't remember the exact name, but I will link it below if you want to buy it. It is amazing. It completely has changed my content and how it looks and the quality of it. So I highly suggest investing in your content, invest in yourself if you want to succeed. And listen, I'm not saying you need to go spend thousands of dollars on the most expensive camera and the most expensive lighting setup. That is not the case. I literally use my iPhone 11. You can use your phone. And I use this light off Amazon and a ring light off Amazon. I think each of them were like 40 to $70. So another thing is stay true to yourself. Find your own style and what you kind of like to post. Don't copy what someone else is doing because that's already being done. You really need to be true to yourself and discover what you like and what you have to offer. Also, another big important thing that I have found that has helped me is following other accounts like me. Follow people in your niche. Follow people who love Again, I'm gonna use makeup as the example, makeup and beauty and skincare and fashion, whatever it may be. Follow those people and support each other. 
because more often than not, when you comment on someone's posts and show love to their posts, they're going to do the same thing back. My other piece of advice is just be patient with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes time. Unless you're that lucky person that goes viral overnight, which isn't always the case most of the time, just be patient. Trust the process. I'm still trusting that process. I'm not some huge influencer with hundreds of thousands of followers. And that's what's going to lead into my next section of this video is how to get noticed by brands with less than 10,000 followers and how to receive PR. Okay, how to get noticed by brands and how to receive PR, which is free products. It's amazing. So tip number one, I wrote it down. I'm going to look at my notebook. What do I have? If you want brands to support you, show love. Yes, you have to show love to brands. I was in a clubhouse recently with Jouer Cosmetics and this is what they recommended. The brand themselves, so keep this in mind. If you want a brand to show you love and comment and like your posts and repost your posts, you need to do the same thing. You need to comment on their photos, you need to like them, share them, tag them, and so on. That's one thing that I really, really found helped me get noticed by brands. I always commented on their posts, I liked them, I tagged them in all my posts, and that really, really, really helped me. Okay, so another thing I did that really helped me, I think, get noticed by brands was turning on my post notifications. So every time they would post, I'd be sure to click on it right away as soon as I can, like their photo, comment on their photo, and after time, they noticed that. So what really helped grow my account, I would say, yeah, probably the number one thing that helped grow my account was getting reposted by brands. And I'm going to tell you just how I got that to happen. Think about it. Brands have like millions of followers for the most part. Getting reposted by them is major exposure for your account. I'm going to be totally honest, completely straight up. You need to post quality content. Brands love high quality content. There's no denying it. If you're posting fuzzy pictures or pictures with busy backgrounds, they might not repost you. I'm just being honest. Going back to what I had mentioned before, invest in yourself. If you want this bad, I really, really suggest investing in yourself. Buy some lighting. It's really not that much money. If you have the funds to do it, I highly suggest doing it. It really, really helped me in growing my account and getting noticed by brands. Another thing that people I feel like don't talk about so much is the fact that you can reach out to brands. They don't always need to reach out to you first. So yeah, it's a myth if people are telling you you can't reach out to brands, it's unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. I've heard from brands themselves. They don't mind when people do that. As long as it's professional and not too pushy, you're not asking for money, you're not asking for a million free things, I will let you know a little quick way of how to reach out to brands, how I've done it in the past and how it's worked for me. Before I get into that, I just want to mention as well, you never know who's looking at your account. Whenever a brand has reached out to me, they let me know that they found me on Instagram through another brand reposting me, for example. Or for most cases, they've actually found me on the TikTok for you page. Like, you just never know. So with that being said, make sure you have contact information, your email, for example, in your bio or some way at least easily accessible on your profile so they can email you and reach out to you. So if you want to reach out to a brand, this is how you would do it. I could probably make an entire separate video on this, but I'll touch on it briefly just so you guys kind of have an idea. So make your email to them short and concise to the point. Don't ramble on about randomness. They're just going to delete your email. Again, I'm just being honest. These are things that I've been told from brands and I really want to share it with you to help you out. So don't ramble on, introduce yourself quickly really quick, get to the point, let them know why you want to try their products and let them know what products you have tried in the past. Don't lie to them. They have ways of figuring out. Again, brands told me this. So next, you're going to want to include a few analytics on your socials and make sure you link your socials as well. Again, that's a really just brief little blurb I can say about emails. I would probably actually love to make a whole separate video on this topic because there's just so much to cover. You could also include a media kit. Again, I would love to make a separate video on that. I don't want to make this video too long. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to learn. So once you've reached out to all these brands, do not be discouraged. I'm going to be honest again. I'm keeping this whole video super honest. A lot of them probably won't write back to you. It's just the truth. But you might get the odd one or two that will. And that's what happened for me. I got a I 
probably emailed like, I'm going to be honest, like 10 different brands on the same day. <laughs> and I heard back from like two or three. But hey, that's better than nothing. Going back to getting reposted by brands, there's a couple more things that I want to touch on that I hadn't mentioned. And that is building brand relationships. You liking and commenting on their posts and them doing that back to you, that's really creating a brand relationship. And if you want to get reposted by brands, another piece of advice that I have is paying attention to their feed. Look at their feed, look at the kind of things and products that they're promoting and kind of tailor your content to that. And trust me, that seriously works. I've done that so many times and I've gotten reposted just by doing that. All that leads into the topic that I think everyone is most interested in, and that is how to make money off social media as a micro influencer and good money. Also keep in mind, everything I've touched on throughout this video plays a crucial role when it comes to making money on social media. What I've learned from brands themselves and from my personal experience, you don't need hundreds of thousands and millions or just thousands in general of followers. You can do this with 10K and under. Yes, you can make money with 10K and under. Brands are actually really focusing on micro influencers as opposed to influencers with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers. And I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people have this idea in their mind that you need to have thousands and thousands of followers in order for brands to notice you and to make money. But that is not the case. That is so far from the truth. Look at it this way. Someone could have, let's say 10,000 followers or even less, 8,000 followers with really, really dedicated followers who really trust their opinion and comment and like, and they have basically a really strong community of followers. And then there could be someone with, let's say 400,000 followers that gets like no comments. They don't answer people's DMs. They don't like people's comments or respond to them. They just have no sense of community going on. What would you go for? Someone with a small amount of followers, but a dedicated following and a following that trusts the influencer or the influencer with 400,000 followers with a following that doesn't even like their photos. When you take that into consideration, followers and numbers really don't mean anything in that sense. And that's how brands look at it. Take me for example, I have 13,000 or well, just over 13,000 followers on Instagram and brands have paid me to create content for them. So that just tells you, you don't need 100,000 followers to make money. But keep in mind, I do have a great audience of people who trust my opinion and I only post products that I really genuinely care about and they know that and that's why they trust me and that's why they keep coming back. So that is key. Really, really build a relationship with your audience and make them trust you. Again, be patient with this. You're not going to start making money as soon as you start posting on Instagram. It took me, what, four years to get to this? So yeah, keep that in mind. Don't be discouraged. Keep going because this could happen for you. So let me leave you with a few final takeaways to pretty much sum up this video. Number one, be consistent and do not get discouraged. This takes time. Number two, be patient. Again, this takes time. It's not going to happen overnight unless you get lucky and go viral overnight, then good for you. But in most cases, that doesn't really happen. So be patient with yourself. Number three, you don't need a million followers to make money. Number four, invest in yourself and invest in your content. Number five, be yourself and try to stand out as much as you can. There's so many people posting on social media, so just be true to yourself. And my final takeaway is just have fun with it. Don't lose touch of that. Creating content is so much fun. It's not all about making money. Me personally, I didn't go into this with the idea of making money. I did it because I loved it and I had so much fun with that. Okay, you guys, I think I pretty much touched on everything that I wanted to talk about. So if there's anything else that you guys want to learn, please comment down below. And I'd be so happy to teach you and talk about this type of stuff because I know how hard it is to find this information. No one really teaches it and everyone has something different to say. So with that being said, I wish you the best of luck with your social media. Till next time.